Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's editing and today we're going to be creating this. So what we want to do firstly is open up the image that we want to replace the billboard on. Um, we'll just set it to layer from background and what we want to do then is create a new layer. Grab the marquee tool, find the left top corner and then start dragging. And what you want to do is line down here with the bottom of that billboard and then find until it until the top is in line with this. So make sure that that's all in line. Yep, okay. So now you've got that, what you want to do is make sure that your foreground color is at white. Hit Alt Delete and then you've got that. So now what you want to do is right click this layer and click Convert to Smart Object. So now you've got that, you can just go ahead and deselect just with Control D. And now what you want to do is put these corners into the appropriate positions. So what you want to do is hold control and then just drag these corners to where they need to be. Okay, so now that we've got this and this is a smart object, we can easily edit it to create it what we want. So what we'll do is double click here and then what this brings is this little screen. So this is actually the object that is being displayed here. So what we want to do is then just open up any parts we want for the billboard. Okay, so we've got this and we're just going to drag it in because I want this for this. And just make sure that when you're scaling it you're holding shift just so it doesn't go out of proportion. Um, so we'll just move this about where we want it. That looks pretty good. So we'll just close that. Okay. So now we've got this, we want to add a bit of text. So now I've got that. Now what we want to do, just with this, make sure that this window is selected. Just hit Control S and then what we've got is it automatically updates here. So now what you can do is simply look at it and see if it looks right or not. Okay. So what we can do here is just have it side by side and just sort of move it and just hit control S every now and then. So now this is quite customizable depending on what you think. But now I've got that and that looks good. So I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and you're able to make your own. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.